Former President Trump in the hot seat in New York State Supreme Court getting questioned by prosecutors in the civil fraud trial against him, his two adult sons, and the Trump Organization. The tension rising in the courtroom, Trump giving lengthy responses on the witness stand. Judge Arthur Engeron getting increasingly frustrated, saying Trump was not answering the questions from prosecutors. At times, raising his voice at Trump's attorney, saying, I beseech you to control him, adding, if you can't, I will, even threatening to excuse Trump. He also struck out some of Trump's answers from the record. On the stand, Trump saying this is a very unfair trial, and I hope the public is watching, calling it a political witch hunt. It's a very unfair situation. This trial is ridiculous. New York Attorney General Letitia James accusing him and his eldest sons of inflating the net worth of the Trump Organization's assets by as much as $2.2 billion. But at the end of the day, the only thing that matters are the facts and the numbers. And numbers, my friends, don't lie. The judge has already agreed that James has proved her case on the key issue of fraud, determining Trump overvalued those assets for a decade to get better terms on loans and insurance. In court today, Trump admitted to overvaluing two properties, but claimed that those numbers were later corrected on financial statements. Overall, Trump denying any wrongdoing. The attorney general is seeking $250 million in damages and is hoping to bar Trump and his sons from doing business in New York. The judge had ordered Trump's business certificates to be canceled, but that decision was put on hold by an appeals court. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.